Hi beautiful people, you are watching YouTube channel Civil Engineering Easy. In the last video, we have plotted the road profile and then we have discussed the natural surface level and then we have learned how to find out the radius level of the formation line of a road from the gradient. And finally, we have plotted the profile of the road in Excel. The link of the part 1 is given in the description. So in today's lecture, we will forward our discussion to find out the section depth at each change and we will find out the quantity of earthwork by using mean depth method. Observe the road profile. The formation line of the road is all above from the natural surface level that is road in filling. It means that we need to find out the extra soil to fill the road at each change. We need to know the depth of each section that will help us in road filling. Once we find out the depth of each section by use of mean depth method, we will find out the quantity of earthwork of a road in filling. Let's get started. The shape of the road is usually in the form of trapezoidal. It consists on one rectangle and two triangle. Consider the width of the road denoted by capital D and section depth by small d. Side slope is represented by S ratio 1. The base of the triangle will be equal to SD. The total section area of trapezoidal will be equal to area of rectangle plus area of two triangle. Area of the triangle is equal to half into SD into D. The area of rectangle is equal to BD plus the area of another triangle is half into SD into D. So the total area will be equal to SD square plus BD. That will be equal to BD plus SD square. In this formula, the small d is the average or mean depth between two change. Once we find out the section area at each change, we will multiply it with the change interval that is 30 meter constant in our case will give us the volume of the road between two change. So the volume is equal to BD plus SD square into L. Next, find out the difference of the formation level and natural surface level at each change will give us the section depth at each change. The difference between the natural surface level and formation level is shown in the long section profile of the road. Next find out the mean depth at each change by taking the average of previous and next value. Now we are in a position to find out the section area at each change. First we will find out the central area that is B multiply D where D is the mean depth. Next, find out the area of a two triangle by multiplying the side slope S with the square of the mean depth. In the next column, add the central area and the area of a two rectangle to get the total section area. Now multiply the section area with a constant change interval that is 30 meter to give the volume of earthwork in filling. Finally, add all of the earthwork of each change to get the total quantity of earthwork that is 3513.8 cubic meter. Thanks for watching. For more information and interesting topics related to civil engineering, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.